My name is Angie Diefenbach. I'm a geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey Cascades Volcano Observatory. Photogrammetry is a technique by which you can make measurements from photographs. Why use photogrammetry to study volcanic eruptions? We use equipment like this that is very standard, just a handheld digital camera. And flying in an airplane or a helicopter, we take snapshots that look like this from all around the volcano. We put these into a computer software program and add a bunch of points to represent the surface of the dome. And those points get tied together to make a digital model that looks like this of the volcano. With traditional photogrammetry, we had to you know, contract an aerial flight service, send out the negatives to be scanned at high resolutions, and then a different lab would actually make our digital elevation models. But now, just equipped with a standard digital camera, we can produce the same results within a matter of hours. During the 2009 eruption of Redoubt Volcano in Alaska, we would uh, fly out there with a fixed-wing airplane or a helicopter, and equipped with a digital camera, just a standard one, take snapshots of the lava dome as we fly around it. And then I would take those images, put them into a, a sophisticated software program, and build a digital elevation model of the lava dome. And we found over a three month period that the lava dome grew to a size of 72 million cubic meters. And on average, the growth rate was equivalent to one dump truck per second. Well, photogrammetry provides kind of the fundamental metrics of an eruption, the size and how fast it's growing. And when we use that with other data like seismicity and gas emissions and thermal output, we can better understand the volcano as a whole. And that helps us provide better forecasts for what may happen next, and that also gets tied into hazards, potential hazards that may occur.